Port Alberni is, by its very name, a port city. Stretching up from a saltwater inlet, it's long been a haven for both commercial and recreational fishermen who coexist alongside industrial users. But as the city has embraced a more diversified economy, the call for greater access to waterfront has gained momentum. And perhaps no project better typifies this shift in values than the Boardwalk Wharf complex now being constructed adjacent to Fisherman's Harbour. So we are developing the uh, SOMAS land uh, and a boardwalk and uh, um, um, I provide a service station at the end of the pier uh, to provide fuel, water and also an opportunity for fishermen to empty their uh, grey water and oil water as well too. So a full service centre at the end of the pier. The new boardwalk will allow tourists and locals access to a larger, more picturesque section of waterfront than ever before. Access made possible by a partnership between the Port Authority, Island Coastal Economic Trust, and perhaps most importantly, the city itself. We contributed $300,000 or up to $300,000 towards making this boardwalk and this development possible. For a number of reasons. One, because of the economic opportunities for the, the larger community. Uh, second one, because it, it helps to complete Harbour Key. And along with the acquisition of a small portion of beach, formerly owned by Esso, it also completes a pedestrian corridor that stretches between Fisherman's Harbour all the way to the Maritime Discovery Centre and cements the working partnership between the city and the Port Authority. We are getting very involved with the user groups. We have created a platform for kite boarders. Uh, we are a supporter of Canal Beach. This is something new. I mean, if we don't diversify, we may not survive. And in Port Alberni, diversification means, at least in part, tourism and livability built up from and around the water. It is critically important for us as a community. It's part of the Vision 2020. It's part of what people like to do. People like to go to the water. They like to look at the water. They like to see the activity that's going on in the water. They just, they like to stand and just watch it. Well, there is plenty to see at the moment as work is proceeding very quickly on the boardwalk project. So we uh, actually expect to complete everything except the fuel dock portion uh, by, the, uh, by May 31st. We have been uh, 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 delaying this project, not, for, uh, not by choice, for some time, so right now it's time to wrap it up. Wrapping it up will involve having a full-service marine fuel dock in place by July, something that everyone on the water is looking forward to. This is one of those projects that we're really proud to be part of. We're proud to be part of the, the, the final capping of this area. It's something that the city and the Port Authority have been working on jointly for decades. And to be part of this piece, it's great. Great news for us. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Nancy Wilmot.